talk to us about this honey locker. And so I see here, I want to say that everybody really asked a lot of questions about, and there's a big debate in the honey community on, is um, this raw and unfiltered, right? right? Mm -hmm. And then we've got the natural mm -hmm. component. Um, then we have organic. So talk to us about the different labeling aspects and how you choose those. Right. Labels. So the main thing, and there's, you can read online, there's any store-bought honey, it's not really true, raw, and pure, and unfiltered. The main thing right. with the unfiltered is it's just screened, so you're getting out any of the, the uh, mainly the beeswax and such. So when you do uh, unfiltered, you're leaving in a lot of the beneficial stuff that we all need to b help with allergies and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. More pollen is left in the honey and more um, of the enzymes and stuff that's all beneficial for our health. Okay. So you really do want to look for the unfiltered. Now, you know, all of ours is unfiltered. It's just, it is all unfiltered. Yeah. Okay. It's just played with um, labeling because I had fun with making jars and yeah. different labels <laughs> and stuff. So, when they filter it, what does that process look like? Well, there's different microns that can be, you can filter it to 200, 400, 600, really fine, 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 and it takes out all the pollen and stuff. Oh. So what the benefit of that is, like if you're going to put it at a store and you don't want it to be um, crystallized, because this you'll yeah. see some of this stuff is all crystallized, right. so you've got to warm uh -huh. it up, versus some of these I've warmed up recently, uh -huh. and it's all, you know, liquid. Right. Um, so this will crystallize quicker when it's unfiltered because of all the... Uh, pollen and stuff in there but uh -huh. honey never goes bad you just warm it back up right um so and it, that's what people think that it's gone bad but you just have to warm it up back up and really the quicker it crystallizes it means it's got more of the beneficial stuff in there okay. for you and you'll get yeah. that really from local yeah. you know you really need to buy it from a local beekeeper okay. is where it's usually not stuff at the store they process and actually mix in other liquids and stuff right. and it's not really True honey. In Another it. something that everyone's talking about um, is local. Like, what does local really mean? You know, so I guess fifty miles is the most recent discussion I've had okay. that that's your local honey. But um, what is the best local radius to? Well, like you, somebody at the festival last year was asking us. They were shooting uh -huh. for twenty five miles uh -huh. from where. Yeah. And, you know, obviously the closer in your neighborhood community, if it's the same town, you're yeah. probably going to be. That's Pulling yes. in all the beneficial pollen and stuff that's uh -huh. closest to where it's aggravating your allergies. And yeah. Stuff. So that's what's uh, okay. the best. Now, okay. any any local, any Tennessee is going to be better than Texas honey right, and right, that right. kind of stuff. But <laughs> yeah. any honey is going to be helpful. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah. just the more confined as you get to As close as you can get. You know, last year was really wonderful. We had uh, quite a bit. So, mm -hmm. came to the festival, enjoyed and shared with others. Yeah. Got lucky and, you know. Found That's a trophy. Awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> I love, yeah, you won first place, which is great. Based on taste and your clarity and the way that it looks, based on smell, and you were chosen by the judges. Yeah, yeah. So that was quite an honor. We played around with nobody else had that, uh, so we smoked honey. So uh -huh. I enjoy smoking meat and stuff, but uh -huh. we smoked, uh, and that was quite an adventure. And we actually sold out of that in two hours, so I didn't have oh, much. Wow. It takes quite a while to do the smoked honey, so it's. We'll have... probably do more this year, it, as ask. long as as long <laughs> as we've got enough honey to share. Yeah, you know, it all depends upon the weather, and it's it's been a little slower spring as far as what the yeah the bees are bringing in right now. I mean, we're right. in the honey flow, but it's just started. So yeah, um, you'll have the unfiltered, uh, wildflower, natural. Yeah, so and smoked at Tennessee Honey. Festival. You know, wildflower. I just collect once a year, and uh -huh. so wildflower is really all flowers, trees, shrubs, um, garden. Right now, it's swarm season, and so uh, you know, if you're not enlarging the colonies enough with the boxes, then they're gonna start to swarm and move. Yeah, and uh, I try to stay on top of that, and I split a few hives. Then we've got wild swarms, yeah. that and I've got around the farm some swarm traps hanging up, and we've caught uh, one Monday and uh, two yesterday. Oh so it is, uh, it's crazy right now. It's like the girls want to get to work for you. They are. <laughs> they are. So we hope we have a lot to, uh, you know, bring to the festival this year. Looking forward to it.